back to my uh, training session knowledge share learn with me so we are going to continue from the previous session and the on the topic rfc adapter so previous session we saw uh, in a theoretical way how we are having the systems like left side you are having a cpi and right side you are having the sap system and uh, how to establish the connectivity between these two systems using a cloud connector so this session i am going to see how i am going to configure the connectivity inside the cloud connector what are the steps i am going to do it the installed cloud connector is already i already done it so i will make it a separate video for it in a later way so now the second step is i am going to add uh, the sub account this sub account into my cloud connector and second thing is i am going to map these systems inside the cloud connector and then i am going to expose the resources inside the cloud connector so finally uh, you will be having a a configuration like that and also i am going to add the destinations in the uh, cpa so that the complete setup will be happening okay let me log in into cloud connector now so the cloud connector login screen will be looking like this so once i am logged in i will get a, a page like this a initial page initial page will be like this you will get a overview in the overview you have a uh, option called add sub account i already added my sub account here uh, so that is why you are seeing it here if you want to add a sub account just press add uh, add sub account then uh, the region you can get it from the sub account in the cpa level the sub account name you can get it from the sub account let me go to sub account and i will see the sub account main page overview here you can get the sub account name the technical name so this this i will be putting it here then what will be what your display name that is your option and sub account user and password uh, this is how you are logging in here the same user id and password of the cpi should be entered here and location is not is optional and description is optional okay then you can save it once you save it the sap account will be registered inside the cloud connector so uh, the this, this step will be completed after that what is the next step i want to map i want to add the target system map the target system inside the cloud connector this step so for that inside the cloud connector go to this section uh, so this will show the connection detail and this will show your sub account detail so as much as sub account you are adding that many tabs will be coming here so i have added only one sub account so that will be coming here okay okay now to add the things what is our option we are going to connect from cloud to uh, on premises right so choose this option cloud to on premises in the cloud to on premises you are you are having the uh, connectivity details so the first section mapping virtual to internal systems you have a option called plus in that you can add your systems i already added one system here okay so uh, that that will be displayed here you will get a uh, so i will i will show some example i will add so it is a web system 
then my protocol will be either HTTP or RFC. Uh, for HTTP, we will be using it for uh, OData services. Now we are going to for RFC, right? So I will choose RFC. Uh, use the load balancing service number instead. Here I will type my So this IP address you can uh, actually this is a security purpose. So this IP address you can get it from your uh, basis team and the internal instance number also you can get it from the basis team. And it is not a SAP router, so directly you are connecting. Then you can put your virtual name. like this okay then the description is optional then next and check the internal host that I will put it here then finish it that's all so the second system will also be added here like that you can add it as many systems as you want to check the connectivity to check this so let me check this connectivity the ones which I added already I want to check the connectivity I will say check availability so it shows reachable that means your connection is successful that means from this place from this place cloud connector to this system is established ok the so same way I have another uh, system added here this is how you can add it now the second step is what now you have to add the resources to it right now I have to add this step now the system is added now what are the resources I have to expose it that step is pending so I will go back so the system I added already there is a you select that row then you select this option plus option so you can have a resources there right I'm not going to add right now because uh, since it is a demo purpose so I will show you the one which I already added it so I for this system I already added it by using this option plus option okay so uh, assuming that there is a I have uh, another uh, Bobby, any other system, right? So that function name you can give it. So I will give here. So you have to give the function name here, whatever the RFC function you want to add it. If it is a complete one function, they use the exact name. Otherwise, if you want to use all boppies, then you can say boppy star and say prefix and save it. So all the function name with that prefix will be added up. Example, boppy and prefix. Okay. So I'm not adding right now. Uh, I will cancel it. So these are all the four RF or remote functions I have added. Okay, I have one RFC entered a uh, uh, CP RFC one, CP RFC two in my system, and do you know this better? Bobby transaction comment, Bobby transaction rollback. These four RFCs I have added it. Okay, so these function also you can you can check the availability. You can you can check here. Check the availability. This way, select this and check the availability. RFC1. Check it. Access is granted. It is already there. Okay. So now this portion is completed, right? So the cloud connector, I added my sub account, I added my system, and I added my resources. The pending part is the creating a destination in the CPI. 
So now I am coming out of the cloud connector. Before coming out of the cloud connector, just note it down. The name you are giving here, right? RFC 400. That is very important. That is the actual pointer we are going to set up in the CPI. Okay. So the same name you have to give it. Remember RFC 400, this one. RFC 400 and uh, SAP JW10. Okay. Remember this. This is the name I am going to give it in the CPA as a destination. So that, so that the CPA will understand. If I give the destination level RFC 400 like that, then this will be directly connected to the cloud connector in that machine. Then it goes directly here. You understand point now? RFC 400. So from if you are coming from a destination, if you say RFC 400, then this will directly point here. This point will go to this server address, then directly it is connected to the server system. That is how it is connected. Okay. Now I will go to my CPI. In the CPI, how to establish the destination? Go here. And there is a connectivity section. In that go to destination go to destination then you will have an option to create a new destination new destination right in the new destination you can give the name here name exactly you have to give this name and you have to give the URL of that then you will be connecting as a RFC the same way I created here this one I created I gave the name same name right RFC 400 then the connection type is RFC and then description is yours it is on premises then this is the user ID and password of your ABAP system that you have to give it. Then, then you have to add three more parameters. One is the client host. This is the actual pointing. What a reference of pointer is this one. So this RFC 400 is pointing to the cloud connector name what you are given. Mapping system. Okay, the value of the property with corresponding key. So this is a key to cloud connector. RFC 400. Go here. This RFC 400 will be linked. Okay. Then this system, what you are connecting to, that client and that system number. That's all. Once you save it, once you save it, then you can check the connection here also. So this connectivity check is from CPI to the target system. So I will check the connection. See the connection to RFC 400 is successful. That means from this destination it connected to cloud connector RFC 400 from the cloud connector to the system is completed. This is how uh, the connectivity will be set up. So also in this way you go to cloud connector section this will give you the status that means the cloud connector from CPI the cloud connector is connected and what are all the systems are exposed right so the resources are available so you remember la one one I created I did not assign any resources so the resources are showing as none for other one the resources are available so it shows us available so the cloud connector will section will tell you the complete connectivity details that's all this is how the connectivity between okay. CPI and 
SAP system via cloud connector is established. Now we will use the go to iFlow and we will create an iFlow and test their completeness. Okay. Okay. Uh, hope you hope you understand these sessions completely. Let me let us meet in the next session uh, by creating an iFlow and consuming the data using RFC. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.